Tom Fallon is my name. I'm uh, with Chagas uh, in Kildart and Fan Bildens uh, specialist there. Michael, um, I believe you, you, you got a TAMS grant for this. How did you find the process or what did you apply for on the TAMS? Well, we did, yeah, we got TAMS grant. And uh, I suppose one of the things I'd say about getting the TAMS grant, we had a discussion as to whether or not we could apply ourselves. But because you have to go into the department website, and the real problem is if you make a mistake, and you don't realise you have made a mistake, and you start building, then you'll be in trouble. You may get a grant. So we asked, we got Chavez to uh, go in and set up the whole grant system for us. And I think that's very well worthwhile because uh, they are doing it every day. We applied for most of the things that you can apply for. We had the milk and power was eligible, the plate cooler was eligible, the individual feeders and the auger was eligible, the 12 ton meal bin, and uh, individual troughs. And as well as that, we really did the bull tank. The direct cost of the of the power was actually uh, two hundred eighty five thousand, not including the bull tank. Uh, the actual dairy is the pack house that was there when we had a mushroom unit, and we did all the groundwork ourselves because we have our own digger. Uh, the grant and that came to seventy seven thousand, and that left us with a cost of two hundred eighty thousand. About eight and a half thousand per unit, excluding the bulk tank. So, um, in general, like you know, milking power is ca it can be costly. Like buying a new car, you can, you can, uh, it can be quite costly. Um, you know, it can go up to twelve to fifteen thousand per unit, um, including the bulk tank. So, I think farmers need to um, do a detailed uh, costing before they go down this yeah, road. Yeah, I would say that yeah. uh, we have automatic. Uh, we have the automatic cluster mowers as we referred to earlier, but we also have an automatic wash at yeah. the end. Yeah, yeah. And uh, also, of course, uh, a good power washing system is absolutely essential. Yeah, yeah. The power is very bright, just plenty of natural light and artificial light, so it's a, it's a nice environment to work in, I guess. Oh, it is, and the fact that uh, the roof is, is not your ordinary galvanised. Uh, you don't have the heat blazing down on top of you in a warm day and the cold, you know, on, on a cold day. Yeah. It's pretty insulated. So it's a, it's a fibre cement roof, so it, it has insulation qualities. Yeah. I just want to talk a few minutes about TAMS. Um, TAMS is coming to an end at, this, at the end of this year. Like there will more than likely be two more tranches, one uh, mid or late October and one uh, in December. Um, but uh, the actual work will continue on into 2021 and 2022 because even if you apply in December, the chances are you, you'll be approved next uh, March or April, uh, and then you'll have a still a year to do the work. Um, now, uh, for dairy farmers, milk machines are covered in TAMs, bulk tanks, plate coolers, and then in the milk and powder itself, um, troughs and um, the, f the feed system is, is also covered. The good thing about those items that um, planning permission is not a consideration, like if you're to, as a young farmer, if you're to apply for the milking parlour itself for the, the actual superstructure, you'd need plan of mission, full plan of mission before you could apply. The department specifications are constantly being updated and uh, one recent update last May was that if you're putting in a new milking machine now, you'd have to have uh, a favourable speed pump. So it's either three phase uh, electricity or getting in an in inverter. I just wanted to add that we all experience disappointments in life. I could see that Michael was very pleased that he could use his former mushroom packing house as a dairy and a, a plant room. I think that Michael and his farming partners, Eamon and Martin, are a great example to other farmers and I commend them for all that they have achieved. Finally, I would add that even though TAMS is closing at the end of the year, not to panic about uh, getting included or getting work done because there will be other opportunities in the future. Thank you.